California landfill on loosely formed ground subject to active ocean wave erosion, cliff collapse, and the San Andreas Fault. What could go wrong? This area was once an inlet to the San Francisco Bay. Gradually, sea level fell and the area filled with loose sand and sedimentary mud. Post-World War II growth caused this area to have a housing boom. An unfortunate legacy is the Muscle Rock Landfill. From the late 1950s to the closure in 1978, Daly City Scavenger Company operated a landfill at Muscle Rock. You can still see the impact in the drainage systems and protective measures constructed at the mandate of regulatory agencies to prevent ocean pollution. Due to persistent landslides, erosion, ocean wave action, ongoing repair and maintenance efforts are required to keep the landfill contained and drainage systems functioning properly. You can see through landslide and erosion that municipal waste has made its way to the surface. That makes it pretty hard to control when big landslides or storm events occur. Because the area is so vulnerable to landslides and erosion, as well as sea level rise, the city spends about a million dollars a year for maintenance. It's been estimated that it would take about $200 million to move the landfill to a less vulnerable area. That's clearly beyond the capabilities of most municipalities. Throughout the world, it's been a common practice to put landfills near the ocean. While the area does face a landfill dilemma, it does serve as a prized park for locals. It's well known as a hang gliding place and for bird watching and hiking. The area is also great for just hanging out and watching the ocean, as well as you'll see later, sunsets. Thanks for watching. Do yourself right. Come back and see us at that place. Hit that like button and we'll see you later.